Hello pharmacists, it's Pete here from i3soft. Today I'm going to continue from the uh, decision support tutorial and I'm going to show you how to do some uh, issues with the i3soft website. So we're going to go to a HMR that we're making, select the person and then we're going to click on issues which is after decision support. Okay so this is the issue that was made by the decision support software um, and you can see that we have another one here. So to manage your issues you can uh, select an issue and you can see the screen refreshes and if you want to delete it you can add it, uh, delete it there uh, and if you want to put a new one you can put in a new one there. You can also add in a pre-formatted issue which I'll go into in a later tutorial. Okay. You can also manipulate the order in which the issues are presented to the prescriber using this ordering button. Okay, so we're going to make a new issue. So this issue is uh, based on the drug interaction. Okay, so we'll call it simvastatin and we'll say it's a drug interaction and I'm just going off screen here to copy some text. So this is the actual issue part and this will be the recommendation part. So what we're doing here is we're, uh, we're separating out the issue and the recommendation. You don't have to do that, but uh, it's very good for the site to actually have separate issues and recommendations for reporting. If you need to put in a reference or want to put in a reference to your recommendations, you can do that there. And those references are also pre-populated with some of the decision support tools. Right, so I'm just going to put in another issue and we'll call this um, um, leading risk. Okay, so this is going to be a toxicity issue. So I should just explain this. This is the document system of classifying drug related problems which is based from some research at the University of Tasmania. Okay and the recommendation number is 18 and we'll just copy in that text from off screen so scrolling up to the issue inserting the text into the issue section and then scrolling down here to the recommendation okay so we've entered in we've now got three issues and recommendations you can see them here and uh, now we can just go over to the report. So click on report. And so what the website does is that it takes the introduction that you enter here that's pre-formatted by the um, website. If some of these details are not known, they'll be in bolded or red. Uh, you can refresh that introduction there and that will overwrite what you normally have, okay? You have a, a report introduction and you have a report summary. Okay, so you can read through those and you can change them as you need to. Okay, if you click on print, it will generate the report and I just wanted to show you how the issues look out on the PDF here. So you have this um, introduction, then you have the patient details, the patient medicine list, this placeholder text is um, meant to be deleted but you can see here this is from our um, snippets and also here are the issues and recommendations so uh, this is what we've just typed in okay so that's getting towards being a complete report well that's issues um, and I'd like to thank you for watching bye now